We still have a lot of camels to get on this new account if we want to get Dark Aether before Vanguard. So today, we're going to be hopping in and getting our AK-47 Gold Viper. I forget how hard it is to get camos when your gun's not leveled up, but I went ahead. I leveled it up a little bit in Zombies so I could get some more crystals. Here's my camo progress so far. Our Grunge camo is almost done. We need about 1,000 more. Liquid, we need 1,500 more. Same thing with crits. Our Vintage is done. Fauna is done. Topo is done. And then we just got to level 50, so we need to do all of Infection. And this is the build I'm going with. I have the Millstop Reflex on. I think I'm going to switch out this Flash Guard for the KGB Eliminator. We're going with our Lancer Barrel. I'm putting on the Ember Sighting Point. And we're going to have to go with the 50 round mag. And since I don't have my ARs fully upgraded, I can't get all the rest of the attachments. So this is what we're going to have to deal with for today. And we're using Ring of Fire. It's still not tiered up. Really quick, let me show you what I've spent my crystals on. So I put some crystals into our Assault Rifles here. Uh, I'm so close to being able to get the three additional attachment slots, but you know, just a few crystals short. I'm still not a high enough level to upgrade Ring of Fire. We'll probably get there after this game. So that's, that's cool. But I have upgraded some perks a little bit. I put one into stamina up. I put one into dead shot since we can finally upgrade that. I can't remember when I upgraded mule kick, but we have it. So they have a chance to drop ammo. I think same with death perception. And that might be all we've upgraded. So we got a little more to do than last time. Let's go ahead, hop in Forsaken and get it done. Also, I did ask for suggestions in last video. I'm asking for them again today. Uh, I haven't gotten to the suggestions of the last video because I just got done making it and I really just need to grind these out if I really want to get Dark Aether before Vanguard. So I'm just using these ARs until I get suggestions. That way I can get closer to Plague Diamond. All right, walking in Forsaken here. And this time I'm not gonna go down on round six. I think we're a little better than that. I'm actually gonna hit the portal right away. I'll get a few kills before it starts up, but I think I want to get power on and make sure that I can get quick revive and dead shot before I actually sit here and start grinding camos because dead shot is so nice here. Especially now that we have it upgraded and it's going to do 100% more damage if the enemy's at full health. That's going to help out a ton. But we're going to need some points to be able to open these doors. So I guess I'll kill a few zombies. Be really sick if one of them dropped Pack-A-Punch though. Still no pumpkins. Okay. Bonus points. At least that's something. Just a few more kills. I'm so greedy. I'm going to go down doing this. I'm still getting used to the controller. I think I could use a little boost to my sensitivity. I think I'm running on 5-5 five, five right now. So max ammo. Definitely need that. I can't believe we're six rounds into this and not a single jack-o-lantern. What do I got to do? All right. I'm leaving before the round gets too high up. Let's pick up Jug and get the loose change. Pop this open. And until we're a high enough level to actually be able to buy self revives, I'm going to open the quick revive door every time. We're going to grab that. We're going to get the loose change from Tombstone as well. Hold on. Lots of zombies around. I think they got to go first. Oh, we finally got a Jack o' Lantern to drop. Let's ring of fire and take these guys out. Got to reload. I really need to get this ring of fire upgraded. That's the first thing I'm doing the second I'm a high enough level. Oh, corrosion camo. Let's go. First one of the day. Oh, get off me, zombies. We're not going down this early. Okay, those guys are pretty far away. Let's open this up. Oh, we got a chalice right away. Let's go. And brain rot. We're not going to be using that though because we actually have a lot of crits to get this time. I don't think I ever got the loose change from tombstone. There we go. Open this up. Head in through the portal. Throw one pack. Oh, it's a scare package. Open. Wait, why is it already blowing up? What? What the hell was that? I didn't even get to open it before I even opened the door. Okay. So we can tear up our weapon and get level two armor. That's good. Nice little pulls there. Grab that, come back here, hit that, pick that up. Zombie, stay away from me. Open this up, grab that guy, pop this open. Where's the flashlight? Who has it? He's not holding it. Oh, it's behind the counter. Open this, grab the loose change from Elemental, pick up the fryer. And before I go any further, I gotta take this zombie out and save up enough points to be able to purchase Deadshot. And then we'll have our three main perks and we'll be good to go for a little bit. But while we're waiting for the zombies to spawn, this is what the AK looks like with the Forsaken Pack-A-Punch. It looks really nice. You can see a lot of that secondary camo on the mag. A lot of people don't know there's actually a secondary camo. It's almost like uh, like a case harden from uh, CSGO. All right, let's take these guys out. Just need a few more. Actually, I don't even know how much this is going to cost. I can never keep track of the perk prices. I just know that they go up after every perk you buy. What's this? Another Aether tool. We take those. Another Jack-O-Lantern. Was that Brain Rod again? Yeah. What's in this one? Another Aether tool. We're already at purple. That's not bad. But one thing I want to say, look, this is so aggravating. Okay, I'm going to shoot my gun, reload to get a full mag. It has 99 bullets in it instead of 100. Come on. They really had to do us like that. But can we afford it? We can. It's only 3,500. Okay, can we build the portal without dying? Let's see. Almost. We got it. Get a few kills here now that we have dead shot. Oh, perfect. A max ammo. We'll take that. All right, I guess we can go through the portal. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? There we go. Covered all of our bases. Now, the part we've been struggling with here is 
coming right up with the abomination. I think I'm ready now. Knock on wood. Come on out. I'm gonna go right up here. Pop the ring of fire. Let them know what's up. Oh, instantly gone. That pack a punch in pink or purple. What? I forgot what color we decided that was. I think it's purple. A purple weapon, pack one gun. The abomination did not stand a chance. All right, let's lift lockdown. Grab this loose change. We can also pick up PhD. And we don't have enough money to do anything else. So I'm going back to spawn. And what we're going to do now that we're here is I'm going to start the rampage inducer. If I die, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, we're back on the truck. We're back on. It's our first time here this game. I just got to remember to spam my left trigger. I can just keep shooting and just tap the left trigger and it just locks the domes. It's so nice. Honestly, grinding camos with the controller is so much more efficient, but I feel like my movement's so off. But once I get it set up, I guess I don't move too much anyways. Oh, here comes a bunch. This is where I wish I had that tiered up ring of fire. Just take it from my ammo pool, because when I have to reload, I'm fucked. Oh, wait, no. There we go. It's a very slow reload. I need to get uh, speed cola. Oh, double points. That'll help me get it faster. Jeez. Crits are so low effort here. Huh. That's ridiculous. Okay, we're at level 52. We need one more level. And then when we get out of the game, we'll be able to upgrade our ring of fire. I'm super hyped about that. That's so weird. Now that I'm in here, the spawns aren't working like uh, like they normally would. Where they come in like time and amount of zombie based or spawn based and not like kills. The last two rounds, they've spawned in just after I'm done killing the last one. Really weird, actually. <laughs> this is so nice. All right, let's hit the nuke. Open that up. What we got? A ray gun already? I guess we'll pick it up as a secondary. Not going to be using it though. That's just for emergencies. Or if we go down. I guess that's a good insurance policy if we go down. Considering that we can't get self-revives. That basically is our self-revive as long as we have quick revive on us. Also, glitch camo. We're moving up. Uh-oh, got to reload. Get back. This is so insane. It's literally just locking the domes. I think we're going to start seeing some abominations soon. Like within the next round or two. Oh, uh, got to reload. 420 in the reserve. Weed. Ooh, this is so nice. 1500 kills while it's pack-a-punch. There's our drench and our conviction camo. Oh, a scare package. Can we open it without getting killed? Barely. We're going back. Oh, every kill is a crit. Deadshot is so busted on console. Or just with controller, I guess. Just wait till I get my upgraded ring of fire. We're gonna be flying through camos. What we got? What we got? A silver chalice. Let's go. We needed that. Level three armor as well. Oh, and we can get this up to legendary. Oh, there's an abomination. So I can inspect our, our Pack-A-Punch 2 AK in a minute. I got stuff to deal with at the moment. Okay, let's pop a ring of fire now. Pull out our death machine. Get the abomination. He's instantly dead. Literally like two-shotted. That's ridiculous. Reload, please. Please don't knock me. Thank you. I wanna check our crit ratio. 381 to 468. That's not bad. I honestly thought I was going to be even. No, no. Back up. Whoa, how did I get up here? I just Goomba stomped off the zombie's head. Oh, there's the RCXD. And what's the other thing? Armor? Don't need either of those. You see what I'm talking about with these rounds? I just killed that last zombie and the round ended. Why is that happening here? Normally, it's just time-based in here. But while we have a second, this is what Pack Punch 2 looks like on the AK. Pretty sleek. This is so ridiculous. I'm never going to get over this. After grinding every single weapon on, on keyboard and mouse, like, crits just have never been more easy. How did you get up here? Get down. Oh, we're at 1,500 crits. Speaking of them, we're actually just big chilling up here. The only time they even get up here is when I run out of ammo and I need to reload. That's it. Because this thing's just shredding. What is that? Another chalice? We already got a silver chalice. We don't need another one. Oh, but there's an abomination. Let me take out these zombies. Do one of these. Pull this out die come on almost there let's go climb back up barely made it that time for whatever reason whenever they get close up to me their mouth isn't like purple and i know that's when they take the most damage maybe it's because they're, they're switching to charge instead of shoot oh no i'm mimic get out of here mimic oh yeah grab me when you're at one health idiot uh oh zombies are already on me and i dropped my death machine on accident oh, i guess i dropped it for another death machine so that don't matter come on reload please let's go it actually feels like i'm hacking the way that it just flies from head to head kind of like your mom that was awful also i just want to say we are extremely close to 100k so i just want to thank you guys we're at like 98,700. like extremely close like almost less than a thousand away so i i literally could not be more grateful for you guys for for you guys that come here and watch the videos like it's absolutely insane that i i get to do this oh i accidentally pick up napalm burst either that or I just despawned i'm chilling
Okay, that kind of threw me off my train of thought, but honestly, thank you guys. These camos are for you. And I just want to put it out there. I don't know how many of these weapons I'm going to be able to do in like one game, like starting from nothing, going all the way to Gold Viper, because I don't want to just sit here and play like multiplayer to get it all leveled up before I play. Because when I'm leveling up in zombies, at least I can get crystals and then that'll help me rank up all my other skills. And we don't have too much time before Vanguard comes out. So I'm really trying to speed run getting Dark Aether. So hopefully you guys understand. All right, our Rampage Inducer is actually over. I didn't notice it end. We have 86,000. I, I should go buy perks after this round. Oh, is that a gold chalice? I need that. Okay, we're gonna just take out all these guys real quick. Pick it up, please. Oh, climb, climb, climb. Oh, I almost just went down there. We have pack three now. We're big chilling. I gotta keep track of how many zombies we got left. Okay, I think we're good to just still go a little ham. I did not mean to throw that. Oh, we're level 53. Let's go. We unlocked Ring of Fire skills. I'm hyped about that. Are these are our last three. Yeah, these are our last three zombies. I'm getting perks. I wonder if I can Tony Hawk on controller. I'm gonna try it. Oh, you can. That wasn't as hype, but we can still hit them. We hit those. Okay, before they get any closer... Speed cola stamina up, uh, death perception mule kick. That's all we need. Oh, there's our rotten camo. Let's go. Grabbing some camos on the way out. So we're all done with our normal kills. We're about, I'm going to say like 900 behind on our pack a punch or 800 behind on pack a punch and 900 behind on our crits. So we just got to set up, sink in, and then just try to grind them out. Here we go. Once we start getting to these higher rounds, there's a bunch more zombies. We're going to be racking up these crits so fast. One thing I do hate though, is these disciples. Get the fuck out of here. Disciples are legitimately my least favorite mob. I think they look pretty cool. I think their design's great, but they're so annoying. Especially in this spot, they just come up and just try to life steal the shit out of you. Mimic, you're close second. Just because of the Easter egg steps on Firebase. All right, Disciple, get out of here. Is that another? Oh, it is. We'll take that. Pack three ray gun and get cryo freeze on there. That was perfect. But while we got a second, this is pack three on the AK. Looking very nice. You can really see the color on that magazine now. I really love these pack punch camos. Max ammo, I need that. Actually, I'm still at 600 bullets. Maybe we we wait till that's about to disappear. Okay, reloading. Get these zombies out of here. I feel like I'm gaining like wrist muscles just hitting left trigger so much. Oh, that's an abomination. What's up, pal? Can I please hit my ring of fire? Thank you. Okay, abomination. It's all you. It's all for you, buddy. Goodbye. Do you guys want to see something cursed? Look at this. We're on the last map in this game with Vanguard less than two weeks away. Check this out. Gun butt. I've been shooting all the zombies on this little truck. That's my that's my grinding song. How do you guys like it? I wish I could set like a key bind on my controller to just tap LT. So I have a feeling I'm going to get like carpal tunnel from doing it. I'd be so mad if I get carpal tunnel before Vanguard comes out. Like on the week that it comes out. That's actually like tearing your ACL before the season. Just hashtag gamer injuries. We're at 896 crits. I think we needed 1500 coming in. We're not too far off. Oh, I got an assault rifle master and zombies. That's a nice chunk of XP for us. Zombies get back. Disciple, you can also get back. This is so cracked. This is actually such a good spot now that I don't have to worry about like crosshair placement. My main gripe with this, as opposed to like Colonel's office, you know, playing on my, on like, like playing on keyboard and mouse, I mean, was that like none of the zombies heads would be level. So you're always constantly having to move your uh, crosshair trying to get all these crits. But here on controller, you don't got to do any of that. You don't got to worry about any of that. I think that just makes the spot so much better. I can't believe I've been missing out on this. Deadshot kind of reminds me of those videos where it's like locked onto the person's face, like wherever they move. Like it's just a fast cut and it keeps their face like perfectly center. It's literally what Deadshot does. It's that exact filter or editing style. Jeez, we're so close between eliminations and crits. I, I literally, it's the entire series is going to be me just like squirting over death shot. Death shot. I combined death perception and dead shot. I couldn't even get the joke out without mispronouncing a word. But that's my forte around here. And also, I just want to say, uh, hold on, let me take care of this mangler and then I'll get to it. Get out of here. Okay. But on my Lapa Dark Aether video, even though I put like a little text thing saying like I, I was aware I mispronounced it for like most of it. But to the people that still left the comment saying I was mispronouncing it, Lapidees, only real ones will understand. Oh, Invincible, reach round 30 without going down. Let's go, getting Dark Ops challenges done. Do I not have a thing to check my watch? It says I have 1400 kills, but I want to take a closer look. Get away, all you get away. Get out the way, get out the way now. Reload, please. Ring of fire. Not going to help us as much. We do way more damage. Tempest, get out. Is there a zombie right here? Crawler. 
Leave. Oh, marksman badge for the AK. Let's go. We got a max level now. And headhunter. That's my 5,000th crit. Oh, let's go. Easy crystals. I wonder how many crystals you get for going around 100. Maybe we'll have to do that just to go ahead and crank this stuff out. Maybe we'll get the M79 gold just by going for around 100. I think that would be fun. We'd get it gold so fast, actually. Oh, but it would have to be max level, huh? There's no way I'd be able to level it all the way up in one zombies game. I don't know why they ever added an XP cap to zombies. So it'd be so nice to be able to farm levels in here. Mangler, you're not welcome up here. You are not invited. Okay, I gotta go. This is the first time we've had to leave the truck in like three years. My, my thumb was slipping off of my sprint stick. Oh, and there's an abomination. Perfect. Everybody, you know, come on. Join in. Okay, take this guy out. Get the abomination while it's preying. Oh, I gotta move. This is tough. Run around. Run around, run around, run around town. Pull out the death machine. Clear out the horde of zombies. Can we get the abomination done? Nope. Mimic wants to intercept it. And I pinged it somehow. We have a ring of fire. I'm going to go up there and pop it and try to get him with that. So popping ring of fire. Let's shoot all these zombies first. I don't want to waste all my death machine on them. I don't want to make that mistake. Okay. Just me and you, Abomination. Face me. There we go. That's not that bad. As long as I have like a ring of fire <laughs> and a death machine, it won't be bad. But those things just do so much damage with their like laser blast. That's scary. I only have 35 bullets in this. So I think I'm going to pick up the hand cannon instead. Equip it, please. Please. There we go. Now we're back to business. I feel like we're going to get gold viper in the next like three rounds. That's my that's my goal at round 36. And then we can exfil. Uh-oh. I'm getting hounded over here. I should probably buy armor, huh? I always forget to do that. Oh, wait. We don't need to buy it if we can get this carpenter easy and let's ring a fire the more damage you do the faster we kill these zombies the faster we kill these zombies the less chance of us needing to reload so a ring of fire still does help even though we're not getting that ammo pool pull uh oh we gotta kill this disciple before it runs out there we go armored zombies are becoming a problem though i think i don't think i have my death perception leveled up enough to get that extra armor damage which is unfortunate but i do have my armor barrel on this ak so i don't know what's going on with them see how calm i went through that i had like no health and I still just sat there in the in the face of death, and I winked at it. Look, we're at 1,423 crits. I actually might get it this round. Knock on wood. Reload, please, faster. Tempest, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm a champion. I'm zombies champion of the world. Let's hop on up. Tempest, you're first. Good riddance. Oh, these heavy zombies are tanks. Come on, dude, just die. Okay, gotta jump off again. This sucks. I definitely don't have uh, the best build I could, but I feel like all the damage stuff we already have unlocked. It's because I don't have the assault rifles all the way tiered up. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Let's go. We got it. What do we do now? I guess I'll just try to survive right here. Bring a fire. Go. Oh, I fell off a little plus ratio. I'm down. I'm back up. I get knocked down. I get back up again because you're never going to keep me down. And we're getting calling cards. We're just unlocking everything right now. I am so down to die right here. I do not care. Tempest, make like a tree. Get out of here. All right. So I guess our plan is I'm just going to stay on top of this truck until they they kill me. If I get knocked off the truck, I'm running right back on. And if we can survive till our next exfil, we'll take it. If not, no skin off my nuts or whatever the saying is. Reload, please. Thank you. Good thing we still have dead shot. Okay, we're down. We don't have quick revive anymore. Oh, we lost our dead shot. As soon as I say good thing we still have dead shot. Idiot. Commentator's curse. Okay, our self revive's gone. It's just me, myself, and I. And I think an abomination because my controller is vibrating very heavily. Please stay back. I'm asking politely. And I'm dead. Okay, we didn't make it to exfil. But we got out pretty fast. Only took us 33 rounds to get enough crits that we need. So that's pretty good. De Deadshot on controller is is so OP. That's like the best perk in this game if you have a controller. All right, now that we're out of game, I'm gonna go over to my skills and upgrade Ring of Fire right now with all the crystals we just got. We already got it to tier four. The only thing we need left to get is tier five and that increases our ring duration, burn damage effect, insta-kill chance, and all the rest. That's probably it, actually. I just I said and, and there was nothing else, so. Anything else we can upgrade? Uh, it's not looking like it. Okay, let's take a look at what the AK looks like with Gold Viper. That's pretty nice, mainly because there's, you know, not as much Gold Viper on it, so we take those. Uh, this is what Plague Diamond looks like on it. Pretty clean and dark aether. Insane coverage compared to Gold Viper. Look at that. Look at that drastic difference. All the way down the stock, onto the trigger, 
towards the front of the barrel almost. And then Gold Viper is just like, just that little spot. All right, let's go see what it looks like in game. All right, this is what the AK looks like with Gold Viper in game. Honestly, the opinion I gave last video saying it looks better in game, it definitely does. Still not my favorite camo. Uh, it's just... I don't know. It's not for me, but definitely better than I gave it credit for. That's for sure. One last inspect here. Pretty clean. Can't wait to get Dark Aether again. It's going to be so fun. But anyways, we got another camo down. Make sure you leave your suggestions on what weapon you want to see me do next. Remember, I'm only level 55. Actually, that, I might cap out what I need to unlock. I don't know. But if you suggest a weapon, don't be mad if I don't have it unlocked. Make sure you leave what map you want me to do it on too. Not Outbreak, not doing it. But that's where we're going to end today's video. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.